In 2016, an engineer named Jimmy Lai saw a gap in the tech industry. His prototyping hardware was slow, messy, and non-modular, so he decided to do something about it. Something actually stackable. Something you could put batteries, sensors, a screen, and actually get a working prototype fast. And that, my friends, was the birth of the M5 stack. Fast forward to 2017, and they released their core model, as well as many different sensors, and had it on a user-friendly platform like UiFlow. Later on, in April of 2024, Expressives, the maker of the ESP32 chips themselves that power so many devices and M5 stack devices, acquired a majority stake in the M5 stack company, therefore reinforcing their shared vision in the world of IoT. But hardware is without a killer core is just a pile of PCBs. This is where the Core 2 comes in. Allow me to reintroduce the M5 Stack Core 2, obviously powered by the ESP32. Comes with 16 megabytes of flash memory and 8 megabytes of PS RAM. Comes with an I2S amplifier, a speaker, and a microphone. Has a 6-axis IMU and a real-time clock. Reset button, power button, 4-pin Grove connector, and a USB-C port for power and data. A micro SD card for storage. A wonderful 320 x 242 inch captive touch display. 2 inches in length, as well as 2 inch wide. On the inside, you'll notice these female GPIO headers. This is where the stack in M5 stack comes from, as you can create your ultimate prototype. And that's where M5 stack hits the sweet spot. Displays, sensors, batteries, modularity, ready for serious IoT education, this is the perfect thing for maker projects. And when it comes to LoRa, pen testing, IoT education, and maker projects, M5 stack makes it seamless to learn and actually have fun. As all of their devices are compact, hackable, modular, and backed by Expressive themselves. We go over different IoT devices and variations of tech daily, so we'll see you next time. Mr. Jimmy Lai, thank you for your contribution to the tech community and everything you've done to better the world of IoT.